Hello and welcome. I am Cinder Shadow, and this is this is where I'm going to do this video from uh, a, a random planet in the middle of VR space. And honestly, part of it is I don't know what to talk about anymore, so we're just gonna wing this. Um, I gotta say, the last little while here on YouTube, on uh, in VR chat, getting a VR headset, this is uh, it's really opened my eyes up to a whole new world. A whole new and it literally is what you see behind me. You, you, you see things like this, and I've already experienced a plethora of new things in the world, and I have to say it is a very fun and enticing thing to continue to do. I'm hoping I can, you know, do some other things and try and... Uh, try to express things very, very differently than what we have all seen in the past. You know, get up close with the camera, do things that generally something more. I want something more out of all of this. I want you all to get something more out of this than just some talking head on the internet at this point. You know, it, it, it's a fun and unique experience to, to be able to dive into something like this. And not anything I thought you know, coming up close to the camera where you can get right up to the camera and talk and do things and just be a different person online. Meanwhile, you're still the same person that you always were. And I have to say, it's a it's a unique experience uh, in that sense. Um, things that I've learned so far. What have I learned with diving into VR? Well, I've learned that you can spend hours upon hours doing things like this and it makes things very <laughs> very tiring uh so at some point i've got to sleep and uh i'm just not doing that as well so you know what this is all new i i think i need to personally try and do something more and uh step back a little bit and just start to experience things at a much slower pace um i've i have many hours already into this stuff and i know it's not healthy so i personally need to step back also as most of you know uh if you've been to the live streams if you've seen some of the videos um i am going into a very very lengthy stay at uh my work i'm going to be working about six days a week uh 10 hours a day it makes things very difficult to make content in that time yes i'm still going to make content it's probably not going to be anything like this. It's probably going to be more car vlogs. If something drastic happens and I need to step in and say, listen, this is what's going on. Let's let's simmer this down. Those are the types of things that I've done. Um, and I don't want to give that up. I still want to do a little bit of commentary, but I want to do things that are more meaningful. I don't want to continue to sit there and talk about things that are just so disparaging in the world. We know the world is a bad place. We know Hollywood is a bad place right now. We know video games are a bad place right now. And those things that people are doing in the in the video games, yes, they're taking everything away from those that want to do more things. But it's time to move past that. I think it's really time to move past all this stuff. The the video games that are that are just causing all the controversies, I think it's time that I move past them and not give them the time of day and that's more what i'm looking at right now means i'm not chasing the views i'm not going to sit here and chase the views anymore i'm going to make the content i want to make i'm not going to dictate it by these silly games that just want to break us down and by companies like sweet baby inc that just take all the attention from the good games. I want to see good games succeed. I want to see things happen out there. You know, I have a trailer. Uh, I, I did a reaction trailer to a, a video game like six months ago called Zuchosis. If you guys haven't seen that reaction trailer, it is probably one of the funner games that I see coming out here in the next little while. I will link it somewhere in here. Maybe right here. Maybe right over here. The, that, that trailer was, I thought it was such a good game. It knocked me on my ass. Just like that. Ah, oh, the silly things you can do in VR chat. It, it, it's stuff like that that I want to do. You know, especially when I can get up close and personal with these mics. Look in this brain. There's nothing left. There's It's empty space inside. There's nothing left in here. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at right now. 
And I think this is a good thing. I think it's a very good thing for me to start really expressing who I am, start being the, the, the content creator, start being more creative, and just take a step back and look at the world in general. You know, I've always said mental health is a big thing, and this has nothing to do with that. This isn't my mental health breaking. You know, I've had a couple comments saying, oh, you need to go see a psych therapist. I think that's the problem. I don't. I have in the past, and this is something that I think can just express so much more do so much more be that creative side be happy that that's the problem everything up till this point everything up until this point you know i used to play magic the gathering it used to make me happy the game doesn't make me happy anymore i don't play it anymore because the, the company behind it has just completely ruined things for the game and Oh, I have to say the, the newest set that came out, Bloomboro. I've heard this from a lot of people and myself included. It's probably the best set that they've released in a very long time. Does this mean they're reflecting? Does this mean they're going back to something that they've scarred? I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't, you know, don't put it past Hasbro at this point. Just to be trying to cash in on a little bit of a fandom that's out there in... Uh, in the space that we see when it comes to certain things in content this is what we this is how i'm going to do things differently i think diving a little bit more into this of course it's a bigger setup there's more things i gotta do um but i don't think all the content goes away i think i can still do the walkabout content where i'm walking the dog or dogs it's still out to lunch we don't know what's going on with that we, we are setting up a meet and greet with a puppy very soon but we will have to see what how that goes content what does this mean for me what does this mean for content well it means that i can still showcase games but i'm going to showcase games that entice me i'm going to showcase games that i want i'm going to showcase things that look good if i see a game out there like dustborn right now where it's like this slap in the face for a video game no i'm not and i don't even want to bring up their name you know i've done this with a couple other games where i i know they're going to be bad and i went i'm not going to add to this conversation until the game fails and once it fails maybe we'll talk about it and i think these types of things can be more said in a live stream than it could be in a video but that's few and far between on top of that i am learning so many more things unity blender um substance painter um learning different things in photoshop now there is such a hard learning curve right now my mind is broken it, it, it's broken and i really need to step back a little bit and actually really take a look at these things and get a better sense of what's going on and of course work now takes up majority of my time in my life i will not have the same amount of time to be able to do these things that I want to do. It, it, it's just, I'd rather sit here, you know, dance, do do something more. Do something more than just be a talking head in a chair. And I've said this for a while, and you know, a lot of people think, hey, I, I gotta hit the grind on YouTube. I've, I gotta put up two to three videos a day. How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I put up two to three videos a day when I don't even have time for myself anymore? I don't have time to sit there and do these things. I, something has to give, and I love making content. I really do. It is something that I think I can do great. But I also have the reality of the situation. I have a family. I, I have a, a young, young kid that I have to raise. I have to do a lot of things in this world that just takes me away from this type of thing. It takes me away. You know, maybe, maybe one day I can sit there and just look at my, look at my job, look at my career and be like, worth it. I'm not getting paid enough for this, which I don't. Um, I, I, I literally do not get paid enough for my job, but it's the job I have right now. Um, is there better jobs out there? Few and far between. You've got to go through lengthy application processes, put in more work, put in more hours. I don't even have the hours that I want right now. 
I don't even have the work that I want right now. Yes, it is a, it, it pays enough to get by. So I have to do what I have to do for my family, for myself, so we can survive, so we can live. Unfortunately, content gets a little bit of a cut. Um, it's not that I'm going away. It's not that I'm taking a step back and not making content. I want to put more of myself into it. I want to do more things. I, I, I want more. And when you only have 24 hours in a day and you've got to sleep at some point, it's just too much. Um, you know, I've had a couple people reach out and say, I think it's burnout. And I'm like, it's not burnout. That's the problem. I, I can't even get to a point where I can burn out. I, I'm at a point where I, I have to time management and that time management right now gets eaten up by um, an hour and a half, more than an hour and a half of just driving in a day and then 10 hours of, uh, of work. Like I get up at 4.30 in the morning, I get up, I go to work and all I'm doing right now is thinking I want to get home so I can go home make content and do something more and at the same time it's like i want to go home spend the time with my kid do things with the kid do things with with janaya and, and the family and the wife just that type of thing but at the same time i want to make you guys happy happy i want to make you laugh i want to make you have fun i want to be silly i just i need something more Tell me. How? How do I manage? Really? How do we manage this? How do I turn around and get something that much? It's a journey. And you decide to to take a leap and uh just gotta hope that uh at the at the, once once you dive in, just gotta hope someone else picks you up and, and says, hey. What you're doing here is good. What you're doing is fun. Keep doing it because it's making me laugh and it's making me enjoy. It's making my day that much brighter. Anyway, this is enough of my personal rant, how life is going. I'm going to sign off here. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. Signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again. <laughs>